Hello, you're watching Shalom World News. I'm Katie Asko from Dublin, Ireland, and these are your latest headlines from around the world. During an in-flight press conference on return from his three-day visit to Iraq, Pope Francis has expressed his desire to visit suffering Lebanon. The Holy Father shared that Cardinal Bakara Rai, Patriarch of the Marianite Church, had requested him to visit the country's capital on his way back to Rome. However, the Pope felt that wouldn't be enough, considering the problems of a country that is suffering, like Lebanon. The pontiff said he has promised Cardinal Rai to make a separate trip to the country. Lebanon has been suffering from political instability and an acute economic crisis, augmented since the devastating blast in Beirut port last year. Two protesters who took refuge in the precincts of St. Columban Cathedral in northern Myanmar were fatally shot by the army on March 8th. Seven more were injured in the shooting which took place in Myatkina, capital of Kachin state, according to an Agencia Fidesz report. Fearing a military crackdown, several young anti-junta protesters had taken refuge in the compound of the cathedral. However, ignoring the intervention of Bishop Emeritus Francis Da Teng and Sister Anne Nu Tong, the brave nun who saved the lives of a hundred young people recently, the army laid siege to the building and opened fire against the unarmed protesters. Myanmar has been witnessing mass protests against the junta ever since the military seized power on February 1st. A group of feminists have charged into and vandalized San Damian y San Cosme Church in Oaxaca City, Mexico. The incident took place during a rally organized on March 7th as part of International Women's Day. Armed women wearing cowls destroyed doors, windows, chairs, pews, and a confessional. They also destroyed a statue of St. Jude Thaddeus, vandalized the church's interior with graffiti, and threw a bench into the street. In addition to attacks on the church, they also targeted several other private and public buildings, including the State Ministry of Health. Earlier, the church had opposed the Mexican president's decision to allow protests, while restrictions on public worship continue due to the pandemic. The Pakistan Catholic Bishops Conference has expressed a dissatisfaction with the working pattern of the National Commission for Minorities. Kashif Islam, Deputy Director of Projects of the Justice and Peace Commission in the Episcopal Conference, said the themes of the meetings have not been made public and there are members of the committee who are not official. He added that the Minorities Commission lacks autonomy as it is under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Religious Affairs and Interreligious Harmony. Aslam also sought the inclusion of a female delegation, as well as greater powers and more authority for the commission to be effective. The National Commission for Minorities was formed in May 2020. It had six official members and 12 non-official members, including Archbishop of Lahore, Sebastian Francis Shaw. The Holy See has expressed concern over a UN Human Rights Council report released last week. The report highlights anti-Muslim hatred slash Islamophobia without any reference to other religious communities that fall prey to hatred, discrimination and persecution around the globe. The focus on a certain religion poses, quote, a real risk of being divisive and of polarizing the international community, said the Holy See. These concerns were pointed out on March 4th by Archbishop Ivan Yurkovich, permanent observer of the Holy See to the UN and specialised institutions in Geneva, during the 46th session of the Human Rights Council. Vatican Secretary for Relations with States Archbishop Paul Jared Gallagher has urged global leaders to not just focus on punishment for crimes, but to remember that rule of law, crime prevention and criminal justice go hand in hand. The representative for the Holy See addressed the 14th United Nations Congress on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice in Kyoto, Japan, taking place from March 7th to 12th. He emphasised that crime prevention must not be reduced to punitive aspects, adding that it is essential to go further and do everything possible to reform, improve and educate the person. He also stated that prevention and response to criminal activities are closely interrelated with the respect for and protection of universal human rights. The Congress, which is held once every five years, is a key meeting of global political leaders, professionals, experts and civil society organisations working to tackle crime. 
The Catholic bishops of Argentina have decried the police crackdown on protests against pandemic restrictions in the province of Formosa. Despite having the lowest COVID-related death rate in the country, Formosa has the strictest lockdown regulations, including compulsory quarantine. The Episcopal body sent a letter to Bishop Gallego of Formosa, reaffirming the need to protect freedom of expression. In the letter, the bishop said, quote, It is essential to adopt all necessary health measures to combat COVID-19 in a reasonable manner and in the context of its circulation, but in no way can any form of violent repression against citizens be exercised. Pope Francis has appointed Father Christian Carlesari as Bishop of South Sudan's Rumbek Diocese. A Camboni missionary father has been serving as Vicar General of the Diocese of Malakal. The appointment brings to an end the faithful's decade-long wait for a new bishop, a role that has been vacant since the unexpected demise of Bishop Cesare Mazzolari in July 2011. And those are your latest headlines. Do join us again tomorrow and visit swnews.org for more updates. Shalom.